What's up guys, it's Jordan here, and today we're going to be playing some Pokemon Go. So, I'm sure you guys have heard of this game, but um, yeah, we're just going to be like doing a little vlog, if you will, of uh, Pokemon Go. I actually stopped right at a Pokestop here, on the way here. I'm sorry that I haven't like started off, I'm already like level 9, but yeah, this is just doing it anyways, this is part 1. So... Just quickly go to this Pokemon Pokestop. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna, you know, walk around. See if we can catch any good Pokemon. Sorry if you ever hear any background noises, but um, obviously I'm outside. So. And it's actually pretty windy. I would go on like a my bike or a long, my longboard, but I thought it would make too much noise, so I decided not to. While we're walking, let's take a little look at my Pokemon. So, yeah, I've I've had it for like a week and a half, I think. Maybe probably less actually, and. I haven't actually played it all that much throughout that week and a half, but I've got a decent amount of Pokemon. I transferred some of my Pokemon. Um, I chose Pikachu as my starter. Um, if you didn't know, if you walk away from the starters like five times, you can get Pikachu. And yeah. Um, my strongest Pokemon is Pidgeot. Or by far, he's my strongest. Pidgeot um, with 400. And two CP. Yeah, when I, once I pass people, I'm gonna be like a bit silent because it's really awkward. But yeah, I'm about to pass someone who's actually playing Pokemon Go too. My eggs are doing pretty good. There, I just finished passing someone. Sorry, it was silent for a minute, but I think you can understand how awkward it would be. I don't know how long this will be, but I'm actually filming this on my dad's phone if you wanted to know. So it's not mine. It's crazy how many people I'm passing by that are playing it as well. Usually progress goes pretty slow though. It's actually a gym over there. I'm I don't think I'm strong enough to go to a gym yet. Let's see what level they are. I've tried out a few gyms. I've lost horribly on all of them. I might be strong enough if it's like, if I go to a gym that's for my team, because then you only have to bump out one of them. But yeah, I made the wrong decision and I chose Team Instinct. And as you probably know, um, barely anyone chooses Team Instinct, so I, I literally chose this blindly though. I had no clue which people were ch what people were choosing, so. I just chose a random one. And it just happened to be the one that no one's choosing. Oh well. I guess that has some benefits. But. I'm just gonna go th through this little path right here. Sorry if it's a little slow at first, but to be honest, there isn't actually that many Pokemon where I live. Like, if you look at this map, there's barely any Pokestops. If we do encounter Pokemon, they'll probably be Pokemon I already have. But, you know, you always gotta try. 
Let me just show you the Pokédex. So, I've caught 33 Pokémon, and I've seen 34. It's not actually that good, to be honest. I've seen, I've, um, if you can tell, I've been aiming for, at first I was aiming for Pokéstops. I don't know why. I find them kind of useless now, but, um, I just recently got an award for doing, uh, 100 Pokéstops. So, yeah. There you can see how many Pokéstops I've been to. You know what? Let's look at my medals. So we got Jogger. Walk. Yeah, this is like... It was like your first bronze medal was like 10k. Looks like the next <laughs> medal is 100k. Yeah, I've walked 24 point... 35 kilometers playing this game in total. Um, Kanto's regular register 50 Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, but like, I've got the bronze of a lot of these. I think most of them. Um, for a lot of people, I also heard, um, this, the tracking, like the nearby tracker, is not working for anyone. Like, it has never gone, since yesterday for me, it has never gone down from three footprints. And I've heard other people who are complaining about that too. Like, with my friend, he doesn't, it doesn't work for him. With this other YouTuber, it doesn't work for him. But yeah. Almost, almost halfway to level 10. I actually, for some reason, really want to get really good at this game. Sorry that the game pay gameplay is slow. Oh. Hey, it's a polywag. I should probably call my friend down here. He really wanted one. Too bad I already had one. Oh. I'm actually really bad at throwing these. I'm gonna show you my items after. My bag is almost full. At least the last time I checked it. Yay, now I got more candy for him. Oh, there's a manky nearby. I really want a manky for some reason. slow here. Let's put, let's hunt down Mankey. Yeah, I've got a Beedro Jinx. I'm actually pretty mad. Um, I got a Jinx from a 10 kilometer egg so yeah, I was pretty mad about that. But like I would have been more happy like it Boom oh, yes, Mikey, Mikey. Yay. Yay, I don't actually have him. Sweet. I, I already forget what I said. What I was saying. Actually I should probably feed him that raspberry that makes him easier to catch. Sorry if you can hear lots of wind. I'm very sorry. I not do anything about that. Yay! Sweet. I didn't actually think I'd catch a new Pokemon on this walk. Okay, let's look at my items. Why not? So, 47 potions, 41 revives, lucky egg, I don't know when the right time to use that lucky egg is. Two incenses. 192 Pokeballs. One lure module. 28 ra raspberries, which that I was going to use um, to make it easier to catch the Pokemon. And yeah, that blue egg incubator is about to break.
Maybe when I get better at the game, I'll be um, making more videos on like gym battling. But I really don't find it entertaining that much. Like literally the whole time I've been just tapping the screen rapidly. I find there's not very much strategy. Pretty happy to see some adults playing this now. Like Pokemon is cool again. Man, I shouldn't have chose down here. So windy. I might go back. I'm kind of like walking near a lake, as you can see right there. So it's not very smart of me. Yeah, I'm gonna walk back here, but go a different route. I'm really sorry for the wind. I'm just gonna jog to this part. I'm just gonna get as far away from the lake as possible. Okay. Hopefully. Sorry that it's kind of boring at times, but, you know, you know these kind of apps. Sometimes it's hard to do stuff very actively in these. Doesn't look like there's any good Pokemon nearby. Although the tracker doesn't really work in my opinion. I can't wait till um, tomorrow I'm going to my trailer. So, they'll actually have a different group of Pokemon at my trailer. I'll probably see a lot of other kids playing it. Because it's like a big trailer park. And it's not like that nasty old trailer park. It's like, how you can tell is like, I find hoverboards there, you know, the quote-unquote hoverboards with wheels. I find them more common than scooters there. That's how you can tell it's not that, you know, disgusting trailer park that you'd picture. Okay, why not look at this journal? Okay. This is kind of cool, it shows me what I did. That's kind of cool. Yeah, tell me what team you guys chose in the comments below. And yeah, if you leave some good feedback probably film another episode. I might cut some of the inactive parts out though. Although I'm not very good at editing my videos. You know what, we're gonna stop by the gym just because. And then you can see how bad I am at this. 
it's really hard though since there's like you know you'd expect there's those people who like grind a lot and just play the game a long time and then they took over the gym easily kinda wish that this didn't need data though although it barely uses any data it's just like it's less accessible to kids who you think it would be aimed towards to but in the trailer there was only like one kid playing it with their parents there's a creepy abandoned house here and a, a chair on the ground ideally I'd actually kinda wanna like a webcam, or it's not a webcam, like a face cam. Oh, here's a cocoon. Might as well catch it. Yeah, there's just a random chair on the ground here. It's starting to get windy again, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, where'd it go? Shoot, I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, there's a squirtle nearby. I actually don't have a squirtle. I felt the vibration. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, it's a squirrel! Okay, I'm sorry, I'm freaking out, like, in my head right now. Oh, I should have fed him a raspberry. I'm so excited, I really want a squirrel. He's like, what I would have chose if I didn't choose a Pikachu. Yay, I caught it. But, um, Pikachu's actually my favorite Pokemon of all time, so. Even though he's pretty overrated. Yay! go a bit better than this. I probably should have chosen better. Alright, we're getting to the gym. It's actually at a park. But yeah. there's these things called Poke Stops that give you a, that give you like a kind of stuff. And like this is one of them. All right. Like, so you just gotta go find that thing and yeah. you collect. gym. See how bad I am. Probably just wasting my potions and revives. But I'm not going to use them anyways, so here we go. I usually have my AR off for some reason. I'm literally just rapidly tapping. Okay, this is new. Okay, here we go. Yeah, now you can see how bad I am at this.
Okay, it's not very effective, but whatever. Okay, looks like I killed one Pokemon. That's good. Still knocks down their gym prestige. So, not bad, actually. I mean, it's better than completely losing. Although I'm probably not going to be able to bat or win against this Pidgeot. Go, Squirtle! I don't know what I did there. I was trying to hold it and do the second move, but it doesn't look like he has one. I wish they would actually tell you if he doesn't have one. Okay, looks like that's all. That was better than I thought. I mean, I still knocked down their gym prestige a bit. So, oh yeah, just knock it down a bit more and then they're out, I think. <laughs> yeah, now you guys know how bad I am at that. Oh, and also sorry if you can hear a lawnmower. I just noticed that right now. Alright, I think we're going to hit one more Poke stop, and then we'll go and end this episode. Yay, a Pidgey. I can use this to level up my Pidgeot. Maybe I should have used my headset. Although I would could kind of look like an idiot wearing it. Oh well. Yay, a medal. Ooh, sweet. Silver medal. There's a Weedle over there. Sweet. Okay, yeah, we're gonna head to that pokey stop right there. Hey, maybe I'll film one of these at my trailer. Probably won't be uploaded until like. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to upload because I don't have Wi Fi at my trailer. I do have data, but I wouldn't want to upload a video using data. beginning of the video, like before I started the video, this guy was actually like, um, hey, are you playing Pokemon Go? Can you tell me how to like work this Pokestop? And yeah, turns out he didn't have internet connection. And then yeah, it was like an adult though. Um, but yeah, he was like, I was like, yeah, you need data. I don't know, that's not very interesting, but whatever. Okay, we're halfway at level 10 now. I've actually did some pretty good progress for this video, to be honest. I have a feeling I'm gonna like see one of the people in my class and then I'm gonna have to talk to them for a bit and then, you know, say I'm filming a video. Hey, maybe if this gets good feedback, I'll uh, wear a headset next time, make a complete fool, of m fool out of myself. Just because headset should have better audio quality and shouldn't pick up the wind as much. Or background noise. This, this on shouldn't. This thing drains battery like a lot too. If you're interested, um, in what uh, recording app I'm using. It's called Airshow. I might give a link in the description for it. It's just an app that you have to download from the website. I 
would turn it upside down so it goes into battery saver mode, like so. But then you couldn't see it as well. Almost at a pokey stop. Probably gonna see a lot of people at the park. Should have wore a hat because my hair is blowing everywhere. I actually don't think you guys saw me, um, saw a face cam of me yet. Like, I don't think, um, on this channel at least. You saw my face. Oh, there's a slowpoke nearby. Um, yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm gonna try and find some leaves. Cause I really want that slowpoke. I was actually walking through a path um, playing this. It was a pretty empty path. Like, I don't know. I was walking in with a group of friends, so obviously it would be a bit more safe. But like, you know, I was just walking through it casually, and then, yeah. I'm making this sound like an intense story, but I just saw like Pokemon graffiti all over the path. And it was really cool because it was signed by this guy called Poke Bandit. And yeah, it was it was pretty cool. He had like really good, um, they were like, they were like small silhouettes, but yeah, I could tell which Pokemon they were, so it was pretty cool. Alright, let's get this stop. Sweet. There's some rustling leaves over there. Well, that means I have to go in the park. And I really don't want to. I'm gonna take one for the team. There's one by those, those two houses back there, and there's one on this path. Oh, there's more rustling leaves over there. Oh god, there's a lot of people. Oh well. Whatever, right? I'm just gonna sneak up here. There's no um, Pokemon where the leaves are. I'm being very quiet because there's like plenty of people here. I'm pretty sure there's some. Yeah, we'll walk this way. We should pass by some. I hope you guys can actually hear me through this microphone. There's some rustling leaves right there. Um, if you didn't know this already, the rustling leaves mean don't always mean there's a Pokemon there. It means there's there could be. Ugh, are you kidding me? There's two people sitting on lawn chairs at the exact spot at the Poke Stop is. It'll be super awkward. Because it's just on a big field. 
so slowpoke's really close. go to those people in the chairs, even though they're standing right by Pokemon. I'm going to go there anyways. Luckily, the circle around me is pretty big, so I should be able to reach it by not going too close to them. Come on. There's so many leaves, but none are coming up. Um, okay, there's a Caterpie. That could help. I need some Caterpie candy. Sweet. Sometimes I get this glitch where, like, after I catch the Pokemon, like, the Pokeball just freezes. Oh, sweet, I can evolve him. I might as well. Alright. My highest level Caterpie is. Uh, I believe that 68 one, I think. 63. All right, here we go. Metapod, here we come. All right, sweet. Now I've caught all the Pokemon that I've seen before. Sweet new Pokemon. I'm actually surprised we- I didn't think coming into this we'd find one new Pokemon. And we found, what, three? Three, like, brand new Pokemon, I think. Alright then. Then we need 50 Caterpie candy to get him into Butterfree, I think it is? Yeah. Because Kakuna evolves into Beedrill, which I already have. And then, yeah. We could go for some Butterfree. Alright, sweet. Slowpoke. We still have a chance. Catch anything good? Yeah. <laughs> This community is great. I don't know if you heard it, but someone's like, Did you catch anything good? I was like, Yeah. Man, it's it's hard to film these videos outside. We're actually gonna hit this last pokey stop right over there. And then we'll end the video. might not be the highest quality Pokemon Go video out there, but I've tried. Um, probably shouldn't have went so close to the lake, and probably should have chose a less windy day, but overall, this is pretty good. Like, catching wise, we did better than I thought, so. I think it's better to have a bit of wind than to, like, not catch any new Pokemon. This battery is actually working out better than I thought. 
I don't know how long this video is going, man. Probably, I'd say probably 20 minutes. I can't really tell. Yeah, the only way I'd be able to get a face cam in here is probably if they if they made a recording app with that. Otherwise, I'd need like a computer to do it, and I don't really want to carry around my laptop outside. Like, and I, th if I thought like a headset looked bad, like I don't know, it just looked really weird holding a laptop and a phone trying to play Pokemon Go. It'd probably be harder than how it looks. Like, it'd probably be like worse being harder than worse being how it looks. Oh, I just realized that Poke Stout that we're going to is actually the one that we went to at the start of the video. I was thinking we were going to that one over there. But oh well. Let's just go right back to where we started and then we'll end off the video. Getting so many judgy looks. Look, haven't you heard of this game on the news? It's all over the news. There's like no Pokemon here. Like none. Hope this doesn't take too long to transfer to my computer. Seriously guys, I'm sorry. I don't really know what to talk about here. Like... I don't know. Sorry. We've leveled up quite a, quite a lot. I mean, leveling up is pretty slow in this game, especially once you pass around like level six, it starts getting pretty hard because you've caught a lot of Pokemon by then and you get a lot of XP catching new Pokemon. I think that it should be a much higher level to be able to face in a gym than level 5. Because if you're level 5, you're not going to be able to do anything in that gym. Because you got pretty, pretty weak Pokemon right then. I'm not even that high level. Okay, Weedle. What was that? Got it. I'm surprised that glitch hasn't happened the whole time. The Pokeball glitch that I was talking about earlier. Almost have enough um, Weedle candy to get another Beedrill, even though we have two. Slowpoke is still there. He's just like not coming anywhere close. I don't know how you ride your bike and play Pokemon Go. Like, I was playing it while I was skateboarding. But, riding your bike? How? Yeah, I just walked by someone who was riding their bike and playing Pokemon Go. Actually, the guy who I talked about earlier. Come on. I'm gonna cross the street here. Cause there's a guy hosing his lawn. I really hope the microphone picks up my voice. Okay, we're almost at this pokey stop, and that's probably where I'm gonna end off the video. Yeah, the in-app purchases are pretty smart in the, this app because I'm like almost out of storage in my backpack. So yeah, you can upgrade your bag for 
200 coins, which is like three bucks, at least where I live. But um, I'm thinking of getting that Pokemon Go Plus. If you haven't heard of it, it's that little accessory that you can like clip to your shirt or it's like a bracelet. And it like vibrates when there's a Pokemon nearby and flashes when there's a Pokestop nearby. Even when the app isn't running. So that's pretty handy. I'll probably do that once I get a new phone. But I'll probably get that because my current phone, it's Bluetooth, actually doesn't work. I'm getting a new phone this September, I believe. Alright, we're back to where we started here, and then I'll end it off. Alright, here we go. Got it. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this episode, or part. I don't even know if this is gonna be a series. Um, leave a like if you liked it, be some feedback. Remember to tell me what team you're on, what team you chose, and yeah, peace out.